What's going on guys? Today we're back with Relations Race Wheels version 1 front bumper install for our Subaru Crosstrek. And you guys have seen my buddy's Subaru in the last Kara Hollows video and he scraped up his plastic bumper and put a ding in his exhaust. So he decided to get this bumper and cut his old one off. And he got a new skid plate as well just because the old one got a little torn up and he got this Rally Tech. Um, the only problem with this is you'll see in the video that it's not actually suited for something that's of this style. Um, the bumper sits out a little bit further, but we'll go over that when it comes around. Um, it's a really quick video. I didn't really do much filming. It's going to be mostly time-lapse with a little bit of narrative, but um, hopefully you guys find it interesting. I might narrate it. I might not. We'll just see how it goes. It's going to be really short. So there's a lot of install videos out there that will probably go more in depth than what I'm about to cover, but basically the gist of it is you're going to want to remove the front cross member. So before that, you got to remove the plastic bumper, um, get a, rid of all the trim and all that. And it's really easy install. Um, we did need to get some more washers that were a little bit wider. The ones that they supplied were really skinny and the holes that are, uh, you're going to use the factory mounting holes, um, aren't the biggest. So the bolts, I, I figured we put bigger washers on them, but, um, if you can kind of see in the video that they're double stacked um, and that helps a lot more with the fitment and we just took all the like the plastic trim off and then the inner um, sort of like styrofoam bits and then obviously the front cross member goes off and then we'll move on to cutting the bumper and this is probably the trickiest part of the install you're going to want to be doing it really slow measuring it multiple times making sure your cut is going to go really well you can use a uh, an angle grinder um, or you can use whatever method you prefer to cut uh, plastic with. I found this to be a little quicker, but the plastic does kind of get melted and it gets really hot. So you just gotta be really careful and make sure that you're not going too slow um, and you're gonna get a straight cut. So from there, you can pretty much tell that we're gonna do this. We did this probably about six times. We took it off, we uh, cut it, took it off, cut it again, took it off, measured it, took it off, cut it. And we kept doing that until we got the proper fitment. And sort of the last step of tying everything together is you're going to remove your uh, your inner fender. Um, they're going to hang super low. So you can use like a like a box cutter. Or if you're kind of crazy with it, you could try to get the angle grinder in there. But you'd probably have to take the wheel off. Um, box cutter would do pretty good. Um, and you might need to relocate some of the uh, small factory components. Like the uh, washer fluid on the driver's side is hanging super low. And the other one is, I believe, a runoff for the air intake, but that's what I've been told. So um apologize if that's not correct. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the only thing, like I said before, that really gave us issues was uh, sort of the factory mounting positions. You might get slightly wider washers. Um, that'll help in the fitment, uh, but you don't necessarily need them. I think it looks better because then you might have like a little hole where it's going to mount. Um, he's going to go through and clean up the edge a little bit more. This was just a preliminary fit and it came out pretty good. Uh, I'd probably use some sort of like trim liner, a little black cap, uh, that runs along the whole thing that might Whoa. look super clean. <laughs> um, and as you can tell, the rally tech didn't fit too well, but he's going to get that bent and mounted. Um, but that was just so we could get it on for the video and the installation process.